welcome back to my channel. I can't believe the time is finally here, y'all. I shared with you all a few weeks ago that in just a couple of months, I was preparing to move into my first ever solo apartment. I've only ever lived with roommates, flatmates when I was in London or family. So this is a first for me and it's just really exciting. And it just feels like the beginning of a very beautiful new chapter. But yeah, y'all, the time is just going by so quickly. And here we are. It's now time to find the perfect apartment. I started doing apartment viewings around Chicago a few weeks ago, and I've seen some things that I really like. I've seen some things that helped me figure out what I don't like and what I don't want in a place. So it's been really great. Like I think I had an idea in my head of what I wanted, but I feel like since I started viewing, it has kind of shifted a bit as well. And I've been able to really solidify like what my deal breakers are. Rent is expensive these days, y'all. And I really just wanna pick the best place for me. Some of the things that I'm looking for are proximity to the downtown Chicago area. I want it to be much easier to get to work. Once I move, I'm being in the suburbs, the commutes. It's not the worst commute possible, but it's just not ideal. Um, once I leave the office, I have to like walk 20 minutes to the train. Um, then I get on the train, it takes about 45 minutes um, to get back to the suburbs. And then my dad picks me up from the train station. So it's just a whole thing and I'm very tired by the time the work day is over, um, now that we have to go back into the office three days a week. So I'm looking for something that's given, you know, 30 minutes or less door to door, okay? If you're one of my friends, then you know I also cannot stop talking about having floor to ceiling windows. Like I love a really big window. And if a balcony is attached to that, that's even better, you know, love windows. And then most importantly, y'all, I think you all should know this. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know. The number one thing that I need in an apartment is space, okay? Your girl comes with a lot of clothes, a whole lot of clothes. So that is like the biggest thing. And what I've been learning from doing these viewings is that the bigger the place, the more money you're gonna be spending. Um, Cause it's already like $2,000 minimum for a little over 600 square feet, <laughs> which isn't gonna work for me. So, so yeah, if you've been subscribed for a really long time, then you know when I was looking for my first flat in London, Back in 2019, I went on 14 flat viewings before I found the right one. And that situation was also different because I was looking to live with someone else. So it had to be a good fit, you know, with the, the flatmate that I was gonna have as well. Um, but it just took a while, y'all. And I don't wanna do 14 viewings <laughs> this time around. I don't think I have it in me. So I'm really hopeful that I'm gonna find a great option a lot sooner than that. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna take you along with me on a few apartment viewings. All right, y'all. So if you couldn't already tell, I was super, super excited to start viewing apartments. So on this day, I decided to check out Imprint Apartments in the Printers Row neighborhood. I've been going back and forth in my head about what vibe I really want for my future place. Is it giving high rise luxury apartment or industrial loft? Y'all, can we please give it up for the windows? These are some of the most gorgeous <laughs> floor to ceiling windows I have ever seen. I was completely obsessed. So even though I was looking for a true one bedroom, all they had available to view this day was a junior one bedroom. This unit came out to around 680 square feet and the rent was $2,080 per month. Utilities for all one bedrooms in this building come out to $155 per month, not including electricity and it was $325 per month for a parking space. Woo! As gorgeous as this unit was, I think I immediately knew that uh, a junior one bedroom and 680 square feet was just not gonna be enough space for me. And according to the leasing agent, if I'm not mistaken, there's a pretty significant jump if you want anything over 700 square feet. Um, you're looking at about $2,500 minimum a month. Imprint also came with a lot of great amenities like a 24 hour doorman, a resident lounge, a fully equipped fitness center, a fifth floor terrace with grilling stations, a top floor observation deck with a fire pit and seating. So if you're willing to compromise on a smaller space or you have the budget for higher rent, I do think this is an amazing option. And rates always go down in the fall and winter months, so you might get a good deal. All right, y'all, so on to the next viewing. 
On this day, I decided to check out a condo loft owned by a private landlord. This condo building was located in River North, and I was actually able to walk here from work, which was really nice. Y'all, this loft had such a cool vibe. I absolutely loved it. And as you can already guess, my favorite part was these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful windows. Now, these were some floor to ceiling windows, y'all. Oh my goodness. They actually led out to a balcony, which was great. Loved the view. This River North loft was going for $2,300 a month, everything included except electricity. And I believe you could add on parking for around $200 a month. The leasing agent wasn't certain, but she assumed this unit was around 750 square feet. Now let's get into the bedroom. All right, y'all, so I'm not really a carpet girl and I don't really want a place that has any carpet. But I did really like the closets. I love that they had storage and shelving built into them. This unit also came with an in-unit washer and dryer because y'all, I was not looking at any places that did not have in-unit washer and dryers. Um, I also liked the bathroom uh, because it had another little additional storage closet in it, which was nice. This building also came with some nice amenities like a 24 seven concierge, a gym, it had a beautiful, beautiful rooftop deck. Probably the best view of the skyline that I've seen on a viewing so far. And it also has a party room. This one definitely almost sold me all, but I would have had to make a decision that night and I decided to keep looking. All right, and the last viewing that I'm gonna share with you all is another South Loop high rise. This one's called 1333 Wabash. I actually had a couple friends that lived in this building a few years ago, so I wanted to check it out. They are also currently running a special where if you apply now, you get two months rent free. This first unit that I viewed was 668 square feet for $2,020 per month. Utilities for all one bedrooms in this building are $125 per month plus electricity. And parking runs $340 per month. Oh my goodness, even more than the first one. <laughs> Y'all, doing these viewings definitely taught me that if you want to live in one of these high rises with all these amenities, you're going to be paying a lot more rent for a lot less space. So I like that this next unit came with a laundry room, which provided a little bit of extra storage. This unit was 751 square feet and $2,378 per month, plus the utilities and electricity, of course. This one also had the floor to ceiling windows, but I didn't really care for like whatever that glazing was that was on top of some of them. And don't get me wrong, y'all. I know that a lot of people can make units this size work. I just know me and I know what I come along with and it's a whole lot of clothes. So you just have to know what your deal breakers are. Now on to the third and final unit that I viewed at 1333 Wabash. This one was 760 square feet. So the biggest one so far for $2,281 per month plus utilities and electricity. I really liked that this one had a kitchen island, uh, the other two didn't. Overall, there was nothing wrong with this building, but I just felt like I could get more bang for my buck elsewhere and find something that I love a whole lot more. But I can't forget to mention the amenities. This one had a gym, social lounges, 24 hour doorman, a demonstration kitchen, an outdoor terrace with a fire pit. It even had a pet spa, y'all. Oh, and I'm not sure if this is typical, but at this time, this building was only offering six, eight, or 10 month leases. So what do you all think? And that's it y'all. Like I said in the beginning, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. I'm gonna be living alone for the first time. Oh my gosh. So much can change in a year y'all. I can't believe we're here, but super, super excited to bring you all along on this new chapter with me. As always, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.